Hey y'all, it's Lippy. I wasn't planning on doing this recipe. This recipe was gifted to me to share with y'all, oh my goodness, probably May or June, the beginning of summer. And it's green pear relish. I don't have a pear, pear tree. I looked everywhere. No one had any pears that I could find. And yesterday, my neighbor around the corner had asked if they could get some persimmons off the tree and I said, help yourself. You know, I don't wanna be greedy. It's more than what we need. So what do you do? You share. In return, we got to talking and I said, the fruit trees we're gonna put in, the first one's gonna be pear trees. Do y'all know, I got a phone call. Would you like a five gallon bucket of pears? I said, are you serious? She said, yes, my husband was going to the deer lease with these pears, but he would rather gift them to you. So Buddy went down, now this was not yesterday, yesterday this was Thursday. Buddy went down, got the pears. Today is Saturday and I'm just now putting them together. But I had to split this recipe because I needed pear preserves, which is my all time favorite preserve. So I've got a crock sitting over there. And what I did with this recipe is I divided it by three. So I'm just gonna make a small batch, but I wanted to share this recipe because this was Mr. Stephen Scott's mother, Evelyn Scott's recipe. And him and his wife, Miss Sheila, she wanted me to share it with y'all. So the recipe I'm doing is by a third but the original recipe I will put in the description. That way, if you guys have a peck of pears and the rest of these few ingredients, you can make the full batch. And let me say, some of you young ones, if you don't know what a peck of pears or a peck of apples, it's usually 12 pounds. That's just a general number for pounds. So what I did is I reserved seven of the largest pears and I estimated by making it four pounds. So this recipe is gonna be divided by three. So I'll turn the camera around, I'm gonna show you the ingredients, but this is based on me cutting the recipe, okay? But I really wanna try this. I've never had green pear relish. I cannot wait to try it. Simple ingredients, even got a little heat, but I think the heat can be adjusted to your palate, so. All right, we gotta rock this out. I got preserves waiting, the dryer's about to call my name, and I got some great northern beans cooking. So, let's get this done. Okay, the recipe says you're gonna need a food processor. And then in this bowl, I have four, four hefty pounds of just diced pears. Now, to this bowl, let me, to this bowl, I had to cut it by three. So I've got a cup and a half of yellow onion. I have a cup and a half of green onion, a cup and a half of red onion, and I have one large jalapeno. Now these were seeded and cored. To this bowl, let's see, let me, because I wrote my recipe down. I've got a teaspoon of salt, because it says salt to taste, and I've got a cup and a quarter of granulated sugar. The recipe calls for four cups of vinegar, so I've got a cup and a quarter of white distilled vinegar. But like I said, I will put the original recipe in the description. All I've got is just the pears. As you can see, I've made it to the top, so I need to break these down some. All right, let's check. Looks good to me. Now, I do have a mesh strainer because it says we want to drain this well. And I can see why it's got a lot of liquid. Now let's fill this up with the onions, the green bell, the red bells, 
the large jalapeno. I started to put two, and I said, no, I better use just one. Because I want the grandkids to be able to enjoy this as well. Okay, I'm going to have to mash some of these onions and peppers down. Probably one more spin, and we'll be good. A lot of juice in them pears. And that was it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All right, let me move all this out of the way. And then we'll move to the stove. I'm getting all the liquid out that I can. I just want to turn the camera back on just long enough so you can see what I'm using to get the liquids out before we put it in the pot. Okay, I got everything drained. And everyone is in the pot. The vegetables, the pear, the sugar, the vinegar, the salt. Everything's in this pot. And the recipe says to bring this up to a bowl and allow to boil for 15 minutes. I got one piece of onion right here. Nope, that's a pear. Watch what I do. I'm not letting this go to waste. No, I'm just going to chop it up with a little paring knife. There we go. A little chunk of pear didn't hurt nobody. Well, here's one too. Maybe I didn't mix it up good enough. Oh, I do have my jars hot sitting in the dishwasher because this is hot. So we got to put it in hot jars and I have my steam canner already getting warm. All right, I'll bring you back when this gets to boiling. Okay, we've reached the boil. And I've got a screen because I don't want it popping. I'm sitting on about a number eight. And the recipe says let it continue to boil for 15 minutes. You see it comes right back up when I stop stirring, so I know I'm at a true boil. Okay, I let it uh, boil kind of on between a seven. I had to crank it down, it was about a seven. Now I've got hot jars, I'm using half pints. Ooh, that was hot. And I'm going to leave about an inch head space. Can you see? Oh, yeah. Let me move this to this one. I'm only going to do one. And then I'll get the other ones finished. I'm not sure how much I'm going to get out of this. But I've got ten half pints just in case. Y'all see what I almost did? I'm working backwards today with the camera. I'm just going to give the rim of the jar a good wipe. I'm going to pat it down. A lot of my canning stuff has already been moved out to the shed. So I've been going back and forth getting everything. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to put the lid on. And I got more to do. Okay, we ended up with nine half pints and a sample jar. It's beautiful, y'all. Okay, we're gonna bring this up to temp. It doesn't say how long to water bath, so I'm gonna go with my normal relish time, and I'm gonna water bath this for 15 minutes, which actually I'm steam bathing, but I'm gonna let this go 15 minutes once we reach temperature. Okay, I wanted to show y'all Oop, if I can hold the camera. This is my indicator mark here. So if you was water bathing, you would bring the water up to a boil before you start your timer. Now, I already had this heating, just like you would have your water bath already with hot water. But don't start your 15-minute timer until you reach the boiling state, whether it's a steamer or a water bath can. See y'all? Y'all look at this. That is probably the prettiest relish I've ever seen. Oh my. Y'all seen me do this. I put them to bed for 24 hours. And just in case I have some new subscribers, I do this in case there's any glass failure, it will keep the glass from scattering. Never had that happen, but I wanna be cautious.
Isn't that some pretty relish? But guess what? I pulled some out because we have to have a taste test. Now, I tasted it. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I didn't. And I was like, buddy, which buddy's under the weather, he's in his chair. And as you can hear, I'm a little nasally, so he done brought something home. But I told him this was the best relish I've personally ever tasted, meaning with the fruit. Um, Y'all, I've never tasted anything like it. I'll, I'll just be honest with you. But I want y'all to look at that. Let me see if I can. Now, I cut the recipe by a third, right? So I did one jalapeno, which I did DC. I'm picking up just a little bit of the jalapeno without that fire, that bite. I'm not picking up on the sugar sweet. I'm picking up on the pear sweet. Um, this I can see with peas, cabbage. I would put this on a dog, a Brox. This is the relish right here. I will probably choose this over my own sweet relish. Uh, I, I, I kid you not. This is amazing. I, like I said, I'm going to put the, the full recipe in the description. And if you want to do my batch, which made a pretty good amount, cut it by three. Um, but the proper measurement for the vinegar... So it'll stabilize and preserve. It was um, four cups of vinegar, and I did a cup and a third. So, and then what I do? A cup and a quarter for the sugar. I did a teaspoon for the salt. It is perfect, perfectly balanced. Mr. Scott, I thank you. Now, I wanna go on record and if you're watching Mr. Scott, email me. But y'all, I want this in my cookbook. I want to share Miss El Evelyn's pear relish. That's how good it is. I want to dedicate this recipe to Miss Evelyn. Miss Evelyn. So, Mr. Scott, with your permission. I would be honored to put this in my cookbook because, guys, it's the best thing I ever ate in my life. Thank you, sir, for giving me the privilege to share this recipe. But, y'all, I'm going to sit down. I am going to get me a little bowl of my beans, and I'm going to get off my feet feeling yucky. It's all Mr. Buddy's fault, too. But hey, we'll see y'all probably Monday. Probably won't be tomorrow. Not the way I'm feeling. So, as always, stay safe, stay well, and God bless. Thank you again, sir. I feel honored.